appointment is going to be with Dr. Stern on Monday. Eso te lo, todavía lo estoy procesando. Este, te va a contactar una señora que se llama Catherine. The whole idea of today is to talk about high blood pressure. Um, in the olden days, or in some, you know, out in the country, people had to exercise a lot. And so one of the things that uh, we're trying to get people to do is to get physically active at least a half an hour every day. So I would say one of my most memorable patients, he came to us actually through the vision clinic. Um, he had come because his eyes weren't quite right and they saw that just horrible changes in his retinas related to diabetes. He didn't even know he really had diabetes until that point. So when I met him, his blood sugars were out of control. He had um, unhealed weeping sores on his legs. At this point, two years later, um, you know, he's seen here only every six months. Um, his skin is clear. Um, he remains employed. He had uh, uh, laser surgery um, through the vision clinic um, that's enabling him to see better and gets regular checkups. And his diabetes is completely under control with some very simple, inexpensive medication. Here, um, we're helping people with um, medical problems like diabetes. Um, does anybody know what diabetes is? Does anybody have a family member with diabetes? I wanted to be doing something where I was helping people with my own two hands, you know, really helping someone directly. Um, I wanted to be proud of what I did at the end of the day. Feeling that leading of the Holy Spirit to, to pray for a patient, um, to pray with a patient. Uh, nine times out of ten, when I ask someone, when I feel led to ask someone, hey, you want to pray? They say, yeah, and they really need that. More than, more than medicine, more than, you know, heart, you know, stethoscope and, and all of that. They need prayer. Coda James Craig Tribble. He is my whole world. So she came in requesting a um, pregnancy test um, and actually was determined to get an abortion after her test was confirmed positive and she was asking for a referral to Planned Parenthood for an abortion. And I told her that we couldn't do it and um, we prayed with her. Dr. Dugal also talked to her about it. And she left and Dr. Dugal and I prayed. And I think it was within a few days that she called and said that she wasn't going to go through it and she was going to have her baby. And here he is. My name is Amanda Tribble. I was born and raised in Olympia, Washington. Um, I actually got referred here by my community corrections officer because I was on DOC. The is Department of Corrections. I'm, I'm a five-time convicted felon. Um, I got sent to prison. When I got out of prison, I got pregnant. Um, all my stuff's drug-related. I was using meth really bad, and it got me sent to prison. And um, when I got out of prison, I got pregnant with him. And he actually saved me from relapsing. He um, kept me, because I didn't think that it was fair for a child to have to go through any of that. He actually kept me from using, um, he kept me sober because he was in my stomach. And then after that, he, uh, he kept me sober for a while. I had a small bump in the road. I relapsed for three days a few months ago. And it was only for three days. And I couldn't be around him for eight. Like, I wouldn't take myself around him because I didn't want to come out of my system. And... I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I've never felt so much sadness in my life to ever not be without my kid. And um, so I got him back and I, yeah, I'm doing good. I started college last uh, quarter at SPSCC, um, full-time student. I want to do the culinary arts program, um, but they have a year-long waiting list, so right now I'm doing an AA. Um, and then I will switch my degree to a culinary arts program. A very great ending um, to a story, but even an even better beginning.